Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to this video today. Today I am joined by Jack Shepard. What's going on, Jack guys? is a personal branding expert. I'm sure a ton of you already know who he is. Um, he's part of the UK gang. Um, why don't you, um, to save me, yeah, there are probably not that many people who don't know about you, but for the few that don't, tell, uh, tell them a little bit about yourself and, and your journey so far. So I'm a 25-year-old entrepreneur from Bath here in England, in the southwest. I've been an entrepreneur now for five years. I quit uni, much like Bradley did, um, when I was 20 years old, and I've worked for myself ever since. Previously, before starting my personal brand, I had an events business, and I had a Shopify store as well. So in that Shopify store, in 2017, in revenue terms, we did £420,000 or $580,000. Um, but what I found with that, I wasn't doing drop shipping. I wasn't doing a lot of that stuff that other YouTubers and Shopify gurus like to talk about. I actually had a warehouse. I had in-house staff as well. So I had a lot of responsibility that went along with owning that e-commerce store. And the problem with that was that I, you know, that responsibility meant I had to be in at 9 a.m. or even before that to prepare everyone else's day. I had to be there till the very end. I had, you know, stock, which is effectively cash, just sitting there in stock. And if you can't sell it, that's a real problem because it's cash just sitting there. And I decided for myself that it was time for me to start something where I could actually truly live on life on my own terms. So I watched other people on YouTube for quite some time. I'd watched people like Bradley. I'd watched other people from the UK, from America that were doing their personal brand. And I saw the results that they were making, not only were their numbers growing crazy, but the actual money that they were able to make. And actually the time that it took to actually create that was, was pretty minimal because it's a case of just recording one video a day upload editing uploading which probably takes anywhere from like about an hour in total but they're making like a thousand dollars a day like it was just absolutely ridiculous so i knew that that really appealed to me because i could work for myself anytime that i wanted to and create a huge income so i dove straight in uh, i dive straight in i started my personal brand with no real intent i just was putting out content about a few different topics because I wanted to get a few feelers from the audience that was starting to grow about what people wanted to hear about more. And actually at the time I was growing really quickly on my YouTube channel. So I put out a, a simple status saying, I, I'm gonna put out some in-depth training on how I'm growing so quickly on YouTube, who would be interested. And I got literally about 100 people commenting on that saying yes. So I released a digital product, a course about how to go on YouTube, which then developed now into my personal branding course, and I went from there. But personal branding has now enabled me to effectively, like I said, work whenever I want, and now being able to travel as well. I've been to Thailand, um, and I got back about three to four weeks ago. I went to Miami and Florida for two weeks over New Year's Eve, which before, when I had my previous business and I had those staff, I couldn't just up and leave them like like Bradley likes to talk about you know outsourcing particular tasks and actually creating a life which gives you the freedom that you need and want in your life is what personal branding can can really give you and that's why and my main reason why I switched out from what I was doing to now using those skills what I learned in that business to then apply to this business and Honestly, I've never been happier since because not only about the money side of things, but people message me saying how much I've helped them, the value that I'm providing. They're, they're, they literally get messages on the daily saying, thanks so much, Jack. So aside from money, it's a super, super fulfilling business model, which I'm sure, Bradley, you've like, experienced quite a bit as well from just putting out your free content and also the stuff that you have in your course. Definitely, man. And you know what? You touched on it before just a minute ago. Lifestyle design. I mean, if you follow my channel, you know I'm huge on lifestyle yeah. design. Um, I'm massive on outsourcing, automation. But you need to build a business around your lifestyle at the end of the day, and you don't necessarily want a business to run your life because then you can get yourself in a rut. You can work stupid hours. You don't get time to spend with your family. You can't travel the world because you are locked into you know, a brick, and mortar, a brick and mortar company like you essentially had, you know, you had those staff on payroll, you know, you couldn't just get up and leave. 
Um, and personal branding enables you to do that. So I get a lot of questions, you know, from people asking me about personal branding myself because I've been, you know, lucky and fortunate enough to be in a position where I've made good money for my personal brand. Um, it's a very, very, it's now my most profitable business, believe it or not. Um, but I get a lot of messages, people asking me, you know, I'm thinking of starting a personal brand myself, but, you know, I, I don't have anything to share. I don't have a message to share. I don't have any information. You know, I don't have a business of my own. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm too afraid to get in the cam- in front of the camera. Um, what would you say to those people? So I think personally that you do need, if you want to be in this like make money online entrepreneurship niche, you do need to be making a, a money or having starting a business outside of personal branding. So you have a topic to document and talk about. And like I've talked with Bradley off camera as well is that People, you don't need to be an expert to start your personal brand. And this is one limiting belief so many people have that come to me and say, but Jack, I'm not an expert. But what I like to tell people is actually, that there's, of course, there's more knowledgeable people and more people out there that are bigger experts than you are at a particular topic. But there's also thousands, hundreds of thousands or millions of people out there who aren't as knowledgeable as you, that haven't started their journey so far and they want to buy your products, your coaching, your whatever services that you're trying to promote through your personal brand, they want to buy into that because they need to skip that learning curve where they are currently literally just dipping their toes into entrepreneurship. And even if you're only three months down the line in your entrepreneurship career, there's people who want to skip that three months period and learn directly from you what you've learned in those three months. So 100% you need to concentrate on building a business and then documenting it around that and really start building an audience out of that. And a lot of people obviously are concerned or are nervous to start their first video. But what I knew from the first video myself was that three, six, nine, 12 months down the line, how much better I was gonna be. And like anything in life, it's about practice. Over time, you get better and better and better. But if you don't pick up that camera for that first time, you're never going to put yourself in the opportunity to, to be there in three, six, nine months time where potentially you could really change your life through the, the audience you've built and then promoting products and courses that you actually genuinely believe in, you're passionate about and can impact people's lives. So you need to put yourself in the position and just start now. You don't need fancy equipment. You don't need fancy lighting. Right now I'm using a webcam that cost me 50 pounds and I'm using the audio inside of my Mac. So like that just says it all. You do not need like expensive equipment. Bradley is using the, uh, the mic on his headphones right now. We, yeah, literally, we, most this, of guys, this, this right here is my microphone. Exactly. Right? It's like, doesn't have to be fancy. I mean, you know, I think, I mean, besides super successful, you know, actors and things like that, if we're talking business, entrepreneurship, personal brand, I'm pretty sure the guy who's making the most money out of everyone is Ty Lopez, right? He literally gets his camera out and I'm films sorry. his videos like this, walking around, and I don't even think he edits them. I think he, I'm not even joking, I'm pretty sure he just uploads it straight from his phone. Yeah. Like he, and he's making more money than bloody anyone, right? And you do not have to be too exactly. fancy. And this is one thing, again, that we've spoken about a lot about off camera. Um, and we, I think we probably spoke about it in the collaboration we did over on your channel. Yeah. Um, again, there'll be a link to that in the description if you haven't watched it. But, you know, essentially what a lot of people go wrong is they treat, they don't treat their personal brand as a business, right? But you have to treat your personal brand as, as a business. And you touched about your course earlier. And what I'd quite like you to do is sort of go into a bit more detail about yeah. how your course is different. And I mean, from my point of view, a large chunk of that is that you don't just teach the fluff on how to tag a video, how to create a thumbnail, that generic stuff that you can get online for free. You actually yeah. teach the business side of a personal brand. Um, yeah. you know, can you talk more about that and sort of share a bit more information about your course and, and your approach and, and what you actually teach inside of it? Yeah, so I think for me, any goal as someone that has a course and needs to be that I actually provide you guys with like an ROI and a return on your investment of buying my course. I don't want you just to take it and then not apply it. I'm here to actually take you through the steps that I've gone through myself to obviously grow my YouTube channel, grow my Facebook group, grow my Instagram account, and then actually monetize it effectively. And like me and Bradley have spoken about, 
like the, the price of my course, you just need to sell one course yourself, which is n super simple to do if you follow the instructions that I lay out in my course. It's super easy to do and that will pay for it in itself. So like my goal as the course instructor or whatever you want to call it, is to make you a really good return on your investment and to learn lots about actually the business side and growth side of building your personal brand. Because like Bradley said, people don't treat it as a business enough. Because you've got to think, all the startups in the world, all the business out in the, in the world, they actually deliberately try and break even, slash even lose money for two to three years. And I'm not saying you that you guys, you need to do that in your personal brand because you can cut that a lot shorter with a personal brand. But the most important thing is to monetize early with your personal brand. So you can take money in to then reinvest into your personal brand, which you are now a business as a personal brand, and then reinvest that into paid traffic to grow your YouTube channel, grow your Facebook group, grow your Instagram account. So I outlined both the organic methods that I've used to get people on my channels and all my different platforms to get sales and also the paid methods that I've used that are really, really effective at growing your channel, growing your account and growing your group really quickly to then be able to monetize, scale quickly. Because in my own personal brand, I strongly believe that in six to nine months, I'll be on 100,000 subscribers using the methods that I outlaw, uh, outline in my course. And I'm well, gonna do that for effectively free. It's gonna only take my time because I have a course and product in place and affiliate offers and different services and coaching. That money that I make through that offsets my ad cost so I grow for free and then I'm gonna grow really rapidly to 100,000 subscribers 1 million followers on Instagram, 25,000 in my Facebook group, all of which are my goals for about the six, nine month period. And I know that I'll achieve that because of the, the, the ability to scale through ads to grow really quickly. And as I'm sure you guys know, having that many followers, having that many subscribers <laughs> is like just so powerful um, for any product service you want to promote through that. And just the impact, the impact in general that that gives you the ability to have to actually connect with people all around the world on mass on a mass scale and have a big audience is so powerful for whatever you want to do. You know, whether that's a course, whether that's affiliate marketing, whether that's your own even e-commerce product or service or coaching, or you just want to share your message with the world. Being able to do that through personal branding is so powerful. So. But having those three main platforms, they're easily by far the biggest assets um, that any personal brand had. And I've actually kept pressurizing Bradley to start his Facebook group and I've actually got him to do <laughs> I've it. I've just started it. <laughs> so, um, but honestly, having those three together is fantastic because YouTube and video content, everyone needs to be consuming video content around you to learn from you directly. And then you have a Facebook group to give quick tips, you know, more written style um, content. And also being on the Facebook platform gives people the ability to message you really, really simply. And like, whereas YouTube, they comment, it's more of like a back and forth. It might take like a day to reply to people and there's not much flow to the conversation. But because they're now in your Facebook group as well, they have the ability just to literally send you a message without any barrier to entry really and can ask you questions about your courses, ask you questions about business in general, whatever it is. And then Instagram is absolutely fantastic for using the stories, using Instagram stories to document your day and people really learn about you on a more personal level um, as well. So the combination of all those three, where people may not log on to YouTube one day, they may not lo log on to Facebook one day, but they see you on Instagram, they see your story. They're consuming at least one piece of content by you every single day. So that really builds the trust in a really sped up amount of time so that then they trust you, they, have the, they see you as an authority figure. So then when it comes to you pitching them any of your products, they are so hot, they're such a hot lead that they're literally diving in because you've provided them with so much free value, they want anything that you've got to sell. And that's why like 
me and you talk about a lot about personal branding being such an opportunity for anyone on their entrepreneurial journey right now, whether you're just at the beginning or whether you're an expert and you've been around for a few years, personal branding allows anyone from any background, any experience level to start putting out content for free and start making a return very, very quickly and starting scaling that up. And that's, um, that's why that's a beautiful I, thing as well, isn't it? That just everyone's on that level platform when you start. Yeah. Everyone's got the same opportunity. Doesn't matter your race, your sex, your age. You know, what I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. The fact that you are you makes you unique. Makes you the reason that people want to watch you. Yeah. You know, the reason people watch Jack is because Jack is Jack. The people that the reason people watch me is because I'm me. You know, that, that's the beautiful thing is by being yourself, you can build a business around that. Um, and you touched on this a bit earlier. You spoke about, um, you know, how as you grow a personal brand, obviously you can you can make insane insane amount of money. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it all comes down to attention, right? Whoever has the most attention wins. Which is why, if you look at something like the Super Bowl, you know, they can charge millions and millions and millions of pounds to businesses to run their adverts on it because it has the attention. Yeah. Once a year, when that Super Bowl comes on, everybody looks forward to you know to the adverts. Oh, who's going to have the best advert this year? The attention is there, everyone's watching it, so they can charge the money. When you build a personal brand of millions or even thousands, you can charge a lot of money for essentially no work. For this, you know, there's businesses that pay. I heard something the other day, and don't quote me on the exact figures, um, but I think Kylie Jenner charges 1.3 million a post That's ridiculous. on Instagram. A post. Yeah. She posts a post and gets paid 1.3 no million or something. That's like, absolutely obscene. Now, I'm not saying you're Kylie Jenner. Because you're not, but to give you a bit of an example, you know, you don't need to have a big following at all to make money, especially in the entrepreneurship niche. Um, uh, Jack's course is fantastic. You know, I know what's in that course. I've watched some of the videos. They are insane. It is a very actionable, and in my opinion, quite possibly one of the best courses on the market to get a return on investment. Like you said earlier, you only need to sell one course and you've made your money back. Mm. Coming from someone like myself, I sell online courses. I sell online coaching. I have 500 subscribers and I made $10,000 with 500 subscribers because I treated it like a business. On my old YouTube channel when I used to vlog and I didn't treat it like a business, I just put out content. I worked harder than anyone else. I uploaded 500 videos in the space of like 300 days or something. You know, I uploaded vlog gaming videos. I didn't treat it like a business, I treated it more like a hobby and something that, you know, I wanted to become a YouTuber instead of treating it like a business. I made $50 in a year and a half and uploaded 500 videos on my personal brand YouTube channel. Again, I've made a lot more money since then, but this was back when I was at 500 subscribers and I first released my digital product because I built that report and treated it like a business. Um, you know, I made $10,000 with those 500 subscribers, which, you know, when I used to work and, and used to stack shelves, that was almost my yearly wage Crazy. for being essentially something that doesn't feel like work. Mm. So for any of you guys thinking about, you know, hopping into Jack's course, I don't know why you're not doing it. First of all, I think you should be doing it. Um, you know, if you're worried about it, we've touched on that earlier. You just need to put that content out because if you don't do it, unfortunately, someone else is, and you're gonna, you know, you don't want to be left behind. Yeah. And then, you know, finally, uh, one thing I want to speak about as well is your Instagram recently has been blowing up. <laughs> um, I think uh, I'll have to check again in a minute, but it's got to be pushing almost six million views on one of your recent videos. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, uh, why you're doing it and how you're doing it. Okay, so why I'm doing it is because I want attention and I want an, loads of followers, which effectively is a huge traffic source to anything that I want to promote within my personal brand. So when I have that authority, I can do whatever I want. And it's not only that the, the initial monetary gains that you get from having a big Instagram account, it's the... It's, the ability to that I have I know people that even at 20,000 followers on Instagram they've been able to go out and get free hotels free travel and free, you know free products sent to their doorstep for absolutely for nothing for just a post like I said people get paid stupid money you can get paid loads of money to do it as well so I want to build my personal brand as quickly as possible that's why I'm going all in on all of my platforms and Re really reinvesting a lot of my money that I'm making from my personal band back into the business to scale it as quickly as possible. So one thing that obviously Bradley touches upon on a lot on his channel is outsourcing 
and working with people that are experts in their particular field to make sure your business is performing as best as possible. So I actually work alongside a guy, guy called Dan Pryor. Some of you may know him. He's been on Johnny Bradley's channel if you watch him. He's actually been helping me a lot with my Instagram account. So we've been taking it viral consistently every single post. We previously were posting two times a day, now we're doing four times a day. When that video went viral, six million views, that's been over the last like 48 hours now, maybe coming up to 72 hours. Um, that post alone has probably brought me in six, 7,000 followers. So in the last like 48 hours, I've gained like nine, 10, thousand followers basically in a 48 hour <laughs> period so at the time of recording this i'm on 42,000 followers but if you want to follow me brad just link me down below or whatever cool. try and find me on instagram you'll see that the growth has been absolutely crazy so the the key things to growing on instagram there's more there's few there's two ways to do it you can either go the viral method route or you can go more of like the shout out and collaboration route. So the, the technique that we're using at the moment is to, to find viral content that's previously gone viral on other people's accounts because we know it has the ability to go viral again. People have responded well to it before, so they're likely to respond well to it again. So we're using and uh, reusing other people's content, obviously crediting them, and then sending it viral. So how do we actually send image well, videos viral and I use all videos on my posts so we actually use a thing Bradley uses it as well he'll link it down as well on this the service that one of the services that we're using is called power likes and power comments so effectively what these are is as soon as you post up that piece of content you get around like a thousand um, likes from accounts that are anywhere between 20,000 follower and 500,000 follower they'll straight away like your piece of content. You'll also get people commenting in the same amount of follower range as well on your piece of content. So this sends uh, Instagram a signal to suggest, wow, this piece of content is of high value. We need to put it on the explore page and the explore page is where you can get eyeballs and attention on your pieces of content that haven't previously seen you before. So obviously they, they see you on the explore page, they're scrolling down, they see that piece of content, they go, wow, that looks cool, that looks interesting. They click on it, they then click through to your profile and start to follow you. So roughly what I've had um, from uh, profile visits to followers, I roughly get a 10 to 15% of people who actually click through to my profile and then follow me. But the only way to really achieve people clicking onto your profile is through these viral methods or is through shout outs where you get big accounts to shout you out or you can obviously run Instagram story ads as well and get people to swipe up to then click through to your profile but to go viral and get the six million sort of view figures I think every, every sort of post that I'm doing at the moment is like 500,000 plus at the moment and that would so it's not that much of a nightball, is it? That's the thing I wanted to quickly say as well. It's not, it's not like you've got one video that got 6 no, million and all the rest get like 1,000. I mean, you're consistently consistent pulling 5 post. to 2 million views every video. Yeah. And then occasionally you get the one that blows up even crazy. more. Yeah. You know? um, I think something like, uh, you know, if you watch X Factor on a Saturday night, like it's got like a million viewers or something, and you're just pulling like six times that amount yeah, in attention yeah. to, your, to your account. So that's, it's, it's that's just enabling me to like grow really quickly. So like, yeah, in six to nine months, my goal is 100% to be have like a million followers. And a million followers is just, I can send people to anything I want. I think every time I probably send people to something with like one million followers, like in my story, for example, it's probably going to do like 10,000 like, website hits like to whatever i want to send people to and then let's say you can charge a lot of money because i mean let's, let's just use something like let's say you've got a hundred thousand uh, sorry a million people interested in entrepreneurship right i know um uh, or, uh audible yeah i know audible do a good affiliate where i think they pay you five pounds or something like seven or eight dollars per someone that signs up to the free trial of audible now if you say if you do a quick instagram story right let me just that, like Filming yourself, right guys, I'm currently listening to, you know, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, fantastic book, 
If you want to get it for 100% free, no strings attached, it's on Amazon, it's on Audible, um, you can cancel your free trial and get this book for free, just swipe up, right? And you've got a million followers and you can convert 1% of people to a 100% free, no strings attached, free ebook that has brought you value and you can convert 1% of a million people. Now, I don't know the maths there, but you've probably made like 50 grand, you know? Yeah, from, you from, know. Yeah. Even if you do really bad and you can convert 0.1 percent, you know, of a percent, 10 percent of a percent, you've just made five, five grand. grand from a, from you know? a single post. So the power of having attention is mad. The amount of money you could charge businesses and brands to shout out. You know, you've actually started doing that yourself, haven't you? Recently, with only 40,000 uh, <laughs> followers, you're getting a lot of people already reaching out to you for shout outs as well. Yeah. So because we have the ability to send, like most videos viral, assuming that the actual content on the video is good enough to go viral. I've had now people uh, reach out to me and, and paying me like 100 to 200 pound per post just to shout out their product. But it's great because not only am I sending it viral, which then sends traffic back to my account, so they're actually paying me to grow right now effectively. <laughs> and that's how I kind of see it. And like to do a post which costs nothing, and someone just PayPal's you 100 to 200 quid to do that. Is How long would you say it fantastic. takes you, what, 10 minutes, 5 minutes? To do that post? Yeah, well, maybe less. Yeah, less than that, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, this is the thing, like, time's changed so much because, you know, 10 years ago, if you, if you wanted to make money being yourself, you'd either have to become a super successful artist, you know, um, musician, uh, um, the actor, something like that, yeah. to become a really successful personal brand. Now with the internet, you, you've got the potential to become super successful. Anyone. Um, and if you use these techniques that Jack teaches in the course, um, and you do use things like these Instagram viral techniques, you can, honestly, the world's your oyster. If you look 12, 18 months down the line, you guys could be super, super successful, super wealthy for essentially being yourself. Um, and, you know, to sort of end off this video, um, I do want to say, if you are contemplating getting into Jack's course, I like I, I could not recommend it more. Honestly, guys, for the investment it is, it's such a small cost. All you'd have to do is sell one course, even in the first two months, say, you'd make your money back. So it's like it, you're not going to lose money doing this, but the potential upside is crazy. It's insane. It's like putting a pound on a lottery ticket and hoping that you're going to win, except you have like a 95% chance, chance that you're going to win. You have the opportunity here to become a millionaire, a multi-millionaire from what Jack teaches in this course for such a small investment. I think you guys 100% need to hop into it. I know what's in that course, it's fantastic, it's not fluff, it's, it's amazing. Um, if you guys are also considering um, or wanting to learn more about sort of the viral techniques, I know Jack teaches that in his course, but if you do want to get the power comments and power likes that Jack uses, that I use, um, there will be a link to that in the description down below. And I just sort of want to end out this video um, now saying if you have one tip just like one tip right now for anyone um starting a personal brand what would that be so if they've already started i want you to think about right now and use your existing audience to research and use them as a market research tool to see what products they actually want from you ask them what do they want to hear more about and then create a product around that and monetize as quickly as you possibly can because Brad, you know, Brad spends money on ads to grow his YouTube channel. I grow money, uh, spend money to grow my YouTube <laughs> you channel. You pretty much do grow money, mate. <laughs> yeah. So to, you, you need to treat it as a business. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you're an expert, you're 10 years into this, your existing business, you're three months into your existing business. Just start documenting, show people what you're actually up to what techniques and strategies and, and tips that you're using that's working for you in your existing business, no matter how like beginner or advanced it is, just get started now. Because for most people on YouTube as well, their personal brand is the main income source. You know, these Shopify people out there, their main income source is their personal brand. They make way more money from selling those digital products, affiliate offers, than they do actually from Shopify. So that just shows like, what kind of an opportunity we all have as a personal brand to get started and make a huge income and create the life that we actually want to have, you know, that you can live wherever you are in the world, 
wake up whenever you want, stroll into the office, work from home, be what, you know, and it doesn't cost much to start. Like I said, I'm on a webcam right now. Bradley is using his headphones as a mic. It's, <laughs> there's no downside to starting. And so just get started, okay? That's like how I'd like to round up of like the, the, the just to get, to get going right now sort of thing. Definitely, man. And you know what, it's so true what you said, a lot of these people make more money from um, teaching what they what yeah. they do as opposed to actually doing what they do. Um, and you know what, guys, at the end of the day, this is just one sort of thing. It comes down to value at the end of the day. It doesn't matter if you make a thousand pound a month doing something that you want to teach, because if you can make that person also make a thousand pound a month, you can charge a lot of money for that. It doesn't come down to necessarily you know, how much you're making, where you live. It's more so what value can you bring to that person and how much impact can you bring them? Um, and if you can bring impact and you have a lot of information to cut people's learning curves, change their lives, then you can charge people a lot of money yeah. for it. So, um, yeah, guys, as mentioned before, everything we've spoken about in the in, um, in the video so far is going to be linked down below. Jack's channel, Jack's Instagram page, you need to go and check it out. You know, he uploads pretty much daily content on both Instagram, Facebook, uh, and YouTube. So, you know, all of those will be linked down below. Follow this guy. He knows what he's talking about. If you're not starting a personal brand yet, you're going to be left behind. You don't want to be left behind. Get started now. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being on the channel, Jack, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks very much, mate. See you soon.